Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric Martin from Keller Williams Realty. And today we're going to talk about how to become a real estate agent in the state of New Jersey. Now I've had plenty of people ask me, hey, how do you do it? I want to try it out. I want to do it. So I'm going to give you a quick little lowdown on how it works, at least in the state of New Jersey. First, you have to sign up for a pre-licensing real estate course. Now, most real estate brokerages, Keller Williams, uh, Waker, Coldwell Banker, they all have companies they work with or they do them themselves. They give out these, they have these courses. 75 hour course, it can be taken, you know, sometimes they'll have them during the week, they'll have them on the weekends, they'll have them at night, but it all will add up to 75 hours. If you miss even, I think it's more than two days, which is like 16 hours or eight hours or something like that, you're basically failed out. You have to take the 75 hour course. These courses will range anywhere between 250 to 400 and something dollars. All right. The, at the end of the 75 hours, you will be given two chances to pass the class test. You will have one practice test and then two final tests. If you do not pass with the passing grades, you will have to retake the course again and repay for it again. So if you really don't have the time right now in your life to and take the course and be serious about the course, I would say hold off until you do because you don't want to take this course, fail it, and have to do it again. After you pass the course, you go on and take the state test. The last I've known was you have a year from the day that you pass your class to take the state test. All right. Most instructors will tell you as soon as you can get the time, as soon as you're done with your class, take the test because you're going to forget everything. That's what I did. I passed it with, without any issues. And I am not, you know great when it comes to testing and I had everything in my head. I went and took the test over done. Then after you take that, you have to go for fingerprints, another fee. Then after you get your fingerprints done and everything comes back, then you can go find a brokerage to work at. Those brokerages can range from Caldwell Banker, Keller Williams, um, Wiker, Remax, uh, Sotheby's, Berkshire Hathaway, even to the small little boutiques. So what you really want to do is you really want to go in and interview at a few of these different places, different brokerages, because not everyone is created equal. Even though they all have the same name, they're run by different managers, different brokerage managers, and some will have more training, better training, some won't have any training at all. So you really kind of want to figure out where your best fit is. Um, your commission splits. What are their monthly fees, if they have any monthly fees? Do they charge for a desk fee if they have desk areas and you want to be in the office, you know, most of the day working on things? Um, <clears throat> and the other thing is to get your license activated and between the fees because you're going to have board fees you're going to have mls fees you're going to have to pay for insurance and sometimes the fees that are in the brokerages will include that some of them won't so that's another thing you may have to check in on but i would say in order to really get your license running and activated before you even make a deal could cost you a few grand, fifteen hundred to twenty-five hundred dollars, maybe. I might be overshooting it, but that's roughly what it's probably going to be at to start out. Because you have your course fees, you have your state test fees, and things. So your first year out, you're going to spend a little bit more money than if you were to be year two, year three, year four, year five. I would say you have to sell at least two to four houses a year to just be able to pay off your fees and have some money in the bank. You're not going to make a career and be able to live on selling four houses a year. 
So if you have another job, stay at that other job for a while until you can build your career up in real estate. Some people dive all in, some people fail, some people make it. It's just a matter of what you are willing to do to make that work and make that commitment. So with that said, you know, if you're thinking about switching into real estate or making a career of it, just be aware that it is time consuming to start out and time consuming to keep your career going because you always have to be on top of what's going on and ahead of what's coming around the corner. So as long as you are willing to do the work, I say go for it. Try it out. Take that test. Get that license because it can be a life changer for money, for your time, for your family. Um, you know, it's, it's endless. You know, of what can happen with a real estate career if you run your business correctly. So go out there, take that test, get that license, ask those questions, find that brokerage that works for you, you know, and good luck with it. You know, I hope you all the best. Take care.